G'day guys, and today Shorty and I are going to discuss the best fullback in our era of watching footy. So, the best fullback in our era, not back in the 1920s, yeah. <laughs> where we're keeping up to date. So, pretty much sort of, I guess, mid 2000s to sort of now, I guess we're pretty much going to discuss uh, yeah. who is the best fullback you've seen, mate. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Who have you got? Nothing too creative here, but Matty Scarlett, I think. Uh, he is the best of our generation, arguably the best of all time, some might say. Yeah. Main reason for mine is I think he sort of there's not too many players who can say they changed how a, a position is played, and I think he really did change how fullback is sort of played and how they pick players. Because not only could Scarlo beat, you know, back in the day like Fraser Garrick and Rocker and and Treadway, Treadray, he made him pay on the going the other way. Yeah. Won plenty of the footy himself intercept mark and he wasn't like a huge build but he just used his body so well I sort of saw him up close when he did win the best and fairest in 2003 sort of uh, down at ended skilled stadium doing some of his best work and um, yeah he just such a offensive weapon as well as such a defensive player and sort of towards the end of his career he um, could be that third defender and, and really make the play as well yeah yep. and um, so there's some of my reasons obviously a triple premiership player all Australian all of those years. He was six six time All Australian. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, so pretty impressive. Two eighty four games. He gets my vote for the best fullback of our generation. Pretty decorated, yeah. Yeah, and obviously a great cult figure for the Geelong Footy Club. So Scarlo gets uh, my vote there. Yep. How about yourself, mate? Well I've gone uh, with Brian Lake. He's still sort of uh, kicking around, but yeah. I reckon he'll be retiring pretty soon. I think he's yeah. about 32 years of age. But he's hobbling around on that calf <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> yeah, he's getting there. So, yeah, like he's played, um, originally known as Brian Harris, of course. Yeah. But uh, changed his name because I think his parents were initially, his maiden, mother's maiden's name was Harris, but yeah. changed it to his dad's uh, name, which was Lake. So. Well, he's a unique cat, apparently. He is. He's a <laughs> fella. Yeah, he is. Um, so, yeah, he's played 220 games to this point in time, which is round 12 of uh, the AFL season. Is it round 12, mate, or is it round 13? <laughs> Just ask Bomber. Ask he's Bomber. All right. <laughs> all right, we'll ask Bomber. Yep, yeah, uh, he's kicked 34 goals, so, I mean, he can actually kick goals, which is uh, he's a reasonable offensive weapon. I think he, his career best is three goals against us, so yeah, against okay. the Cats, which is a um, pretty good effort. He's been All-Australian twice, I'm pretty sure, as well. Um, not to mention he won Hawthorne a flag. Yeah. Uh, he took advantage of the free agency period and he, he wanted a flag and he took a bit of a pay cut, but I think uh, he got what he wanted in the end and he was the best player on the ground. Won the, won the North Smith medal as well. So, yeah, got that premiership. Um, yeah, I don't think the North Smith medal would be as much to him, but mm. uh, he, he would have loved it for sure. So what a great move and what a perfect time to go into a, such a successful club. Yeah. Exactly. He's also taken the most amount of marks ever in a game. Uh, he's take took twenty four marks one game. Exceptional effort. I, yeah, right, I don't yeah. think too many of them would have been contested marks. No. <laughs> uh, but uh, still a very good effort. I think uh, Nathan Bass got twenty two one game, and Joel Bowden got twenty three. So mm. just just ahead in that stat, but he still got there. And he in two thousand and ten, obviously, which was probably arguably his best year with footy. Took 240 marks, which uh, is the third best ever taken in a season behind okay. Gary Dempsey and uh, Nick Rewalt, who took 256 marks in 2004. So okay. he's such an exceptional player. He, he's very attacking, a bit like Scarlett, but probably not, probably not the same. Yeah, he might have copied him a little bit. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, he just reads a play so well, and he loves to claim anything. He loves to claim a mark, even if it's not his ball. Mm. We've seen that a fair. A uh, fair bit over the, his time, but uh, I, I think uh, Brian Lake is uh, sort of the best fullback I've ever seen. I mean, I've been uh, watching footy since 2005, so I mean, any player sort of prior to that, I can't really comment too much on. Um, and you started watching sort of probably around bit, 2002. 2002, yeah, yeah, and that was the end of uh, Stephen Silvani's career, so yeah. he doesn't he doesn't get any accolades there from yeah. the short man. No, nah, I mean <laughs> they're both sensational players and. They both have similarities, but they're both very different. Like, I guess obviously they're both great defenders, but they're sort of their weapons. Like probably the best intercept mark, you know, of the modern day. Yeah. And sort of built the play from there, just stopping all the run and and Scarlett maybe linked up with a bit more mobile run and dash with the handball. But yeah, attacking yeah, 
yeah. style. Yeah. yeah, no, both sensational players, yeah. Well, those are uh, our votes on who we think is the greatest fullback of our, well, of the modern era and I guess our era. Yeah. Uh, feel free to comment who you think is the best fullback uh, you've ever seen. Obviously, yeah, if you started watching footy back in the 80s, well, you know, comment someone who you think yeah. uh, was awesome back in the day. But, um, yeah, no, that, that's who we've gone with. Uh, like, like the video if you enjoyed it. And also follow us on Twitter. We've got the links in the description below. And uh, subscribe to us. Uh, that's always good as well. And we'll see you guys all soon.